We should all be feminists. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. I'm saying stop blaming men, okay, for your unhappiness. I'm really not a feminist, I'm an individualist. I think that individuals have, each have within themselves the capacity to be the hero of their own story. The modern world has evolved in a way society can be proud of. In today's era, everyone is conceived to be equal and respected the same. Women who didn't have the same freedom and choices as men stand shoulder to shoulder with them now. Globally, prominent people, including celebrities, have raised their voices in support of gender equality. A feminist is a man or a woman who says, Yes, there is a problem with gender as it is today, and we must fix it. There was a time when a woman's opinion did not matter. If you were black, white, Mexican, Asian, Muslim, educated, poor, or rich. If you were a woman, it did not matter. Look how far we've come from having no voice to being on the brink of making history. However, recently a change in the world's understanding of feminism has been felt, and the same people have spoken again, but this time to restrict the chance of feminists who are taking unfair advantage of the voices and rights granted to them. Do you notice that it, this has similarity to religion? That religion is a great thing, but when it becomes radicalized and extreme, it's dangerous. So feminism is the same thing. Emma Watson has been a beacon of light for women all over the world. Being the UN Women's Goodwill Ambassador, the Harry Potter actress has worked for the cause actively. However, at certain occasions, she has talked about how people misinterpret the real meaning of gender equality. In her UN speech, the actress raised doubts about how people are using feminism as a weapon to create feelings of envy and hatred for men in society. The more I've spoken about feminism, the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. In an interview, Watson expressed her disagreement with the term feminism, as according to her, it is a biased word towards the superiority of women over men. Feminism about doing the right thing, just um, what I, is that we're I not saying? I think the like, word is really difficult because it seems to inherently suggest a preferential treatment of the feminine over the masculine because it has the feminine in the word. And I think that's a real oversight and a misunderstanding. Emma has shown a clear motive vocally against the wrongs she considers society carries against women. Whether it be judging them differently from men or how women couldn't follow their passions due to society's practices, Emma considers these changes necessary. She never wanted females to be considered superior to males, rather equal to them. When I was eight, I was confused at being called bossy because I wanted to direct the plays that we would put on for our parents. But the boys were not. When at 14, I started to be sexualized by certain elements of the media. When at 15, my girlfriends started dropping out of their beloved sports teams because they didn't want to appear muscly. I am from Britain, and I think it is right that I am paid the same as my male counterparts. I think it is right that I should be able to make decisions about my own body. The actress made sure to highlight that the fight is not for women's superiority, but for gender equality, and this involved men's rights too. Men who are considered tough and unbreakable feel guilty about letting out their emotions. This needs to change. When at 18, my male friends were unable to express their feelings. Rather than just gender, just uh -huh. across, just gender equality across the board. This isn't girls are better than boys, boys are better than girls. This is just everyone deserves a fair chance at whatever it is. TV personality Kelly Clarkson has also raised questions about society's understanding of feminism, and she has shown hesitance in calling herself a feminist. The songwriter claimed to enjoy the feeling of having a man as a leading character to protect, accompany, and take care of her. 
Mm. I wouldn't say feminist. That's that, that's too strong. I, I think when people hear feminist, it's just like get out of my way. I don't need anyone. I think that's what people, and I think that's bad because that's actually I don't believe what the word feminism stands for. But but that's how people kind of um, relate to that word. And I'm very much like I love that I'm being taken care of, and I love that I have a man that's an actual leader. And and so I'm not a I'm not a feminist in that sense. But when it comes to music, I am a little bit more ballsier. So um, but I think that's different. Another celebrity who denied being a feminist is Megan Trainer. The celebrity had quite a good chance to call herself one and gain a larger fan base. After the release of her song, All About That Bass, people appreciated her for raising women's confidence and self-acceptance, and referred to the track as a feminist song. However, the artist denied it, saying, I don't consider myself a feminist, but I'm down for my first opportunity to say something to the world to be so meaningful, Trainer told Billboard. If you asked me, what do you want to say? It would be, love yourself more. I see the magazine, working at Photoshop. We know that shit ain't real, come on now, make it stop. Insurgent star Shailene Woodley also does not seem to accept the concept of the society about gender equality. In an interview with Time magazine, the actress replied, no, when asked about being a feminist. Shailene does not oppose rights for women. Rather, she does not agree to take power away from men only to give it to women. According to her, there needs to be equality where no one is deprived of their rights. She elaborated. Woodley continued. And I guess, I mean, I'm still young and the advice they continue to give me is to just continue to be myself and not get carried away in the materialism involved in this industry. Camille Paglia also felt the increasing hatred for men in society spreading under the banner of feminism. As a social critic, she felt it was her responsibility to address the matter. Camille talked in an interview about how men nowadays are being blamed and targeted for too much than they should be. According to her, all genders deserve equal rights to determine their own identities. What I'm saying is that each sex has the right to define itself, right? and we're in a period now where men uh, are the targets of, of far too much uh, blaming. I, I want to get the male bashing out of feminism, and I want women to acknowledge that men have a right to determine their own identities too. Peglia explained how women use modern feminism to structure society to work in a way smoother and beneficial to themselves. But what's happened today is upper middle class career women want to redefine men okay, into what is, what is what, what operates smoothly in their own now quite affluent career system. Camille also described how in the modern world jobs are used as a measure to determine the identity of a person. So that life is dual, okay, and that uh, that in that in the Anglo-American world, okay, there has been a shift toward looking at your job as a definer of your identity. Once there was the world of women and the world of men, that is not our world right now. But I'm saying, stop, women, stop blaming men for your feeling of unhappiness. Okay, what's happened is you've lost that old era. Okay, Serena Williams, the athlete millions look up to, has also suffered after the shift in the world's ideology about feminism. The tennis player has been on the front line rooting for her fellow women. However, she has also felt the need to change the attitude of women towards one another. I don't understand why um, it has to be, it's a competition and believe me when I'm out there I give a zillion percent. But at the end of the day, if someone else wins or if someone has a successful company, I'm genuinely happy for them. According to Serena, women now have more involvement in society, but what holds them back is their grudges. Um, jealousy is rottenness to the bone, and mm. I never want to do that. And I feel like women should, um, the success, I, I say the success of one woman should be the inspiration to another, and I love Ooh. that. Christian Hoff Summers has also emerged as a critique of modern fake feminism. She claims for the activists to spread incorrect information for their own gains. And we have hundreds of women's groups who do just that. They specialize in persuading us that Venus is victimized and Mars is privileged. Well, here's the problem. Women's advocacy groups tend to exaggerate the plight of Venus and ignore the troubles of Mars. And as I've tried to show in earlier segments of this series, most of the standard feminist injustice statistics are exaggerated or just plain wrong. It's not true that women are being cheated out of 23% of their salaries or that one in five will be victims of... And it's also the case that in many critical domains, women are faring far better than men. 
Modern feminism has raised the eyebrows of many celebrities and prominent figures over the years and caused them to speak against it. People who are instrumental in planting the seeds of feminism will never let it become overwatered and destroyed. Nora Fedehi knew how modern feminism could be a threat, thus she decided to speak against it as well. The idea of like, I don't need anybody and feminism and not, I don't believe in at all. In, in fact, I think feminism, fem, feminism our society completely. I think women are nurturers. Um, yes, they should go to work and have their own life and be independent, but to a certain extent. They should also be ready to take on the role of being a mother and a wife and a nurturer, just like a man should be ready to take a role of being a provider and a breadwinner and a father and a husband. However, when feminism becomes radical, which is what has happened in the last 15 to 20 years, it's dangerous for the society. Ronda Rousey also shared her thoughts on gender equality, where she presented a better ideology of feminism. I think that how much you get paid should have something to do with how much money you bring in. I'm the highest paid fighter, not because Dana and Lorenzo wanted to do something nice to the ladies. <laughs> they do it because I bring in the highest numbers. They do it because I make them the most money. And I think that the money that she, they make should be proportionate to the money that they bring in. Hannah Pearl Davis, who got mocked for her controversial thoughts, also had to say something about fake feminism. Our 80 to 90 percent of the military, they run all of the infrastructures that make society run. So I just think if we want an equal say in society, then be equal. Do 50% of the hard jobs. Before, you weren't trying to divide a family. It was one family unit. You had one vote for the family. I mean, I don't think it's good for a family to have two votes. I'd love for the feminists, please apply for the oil rigs. Please go do the hard jobs in society. What They're open, they're hiring, that? because I don't equate for, I, I don't think men or women are equal until we do the right. equal. I don't think what we have today is really marriage. What is marriage? It's for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. That's what marriage is supposed to be. But feminists have ruined marriage for the people that actually believe in marriage. Ow. This was all for today. Please let us know in the comments section about your views on feminism and how it is impacting society. Thanks for watching.